This is the first part of a series of videos I'm going to do in which I want to show you a way of losing weight and how to keep it under control once it is off. In this very video here I'm going to explain some important terms you hear when people talk about losing weight and what these terms should mean to you. And in the second part I'm going to talk about how you apply the principles behind these terms and in the third part we are going to talk about some of the more uh, popular rumors in conjunction with these. Alright, what are these terms? They are BMR and TDEE. BMR stands for Basal Metabolic Rate which is quite a complicated term but it stands for nothing else but the amount of fuel your body burns when you do nothing. Well, some people think that when they lie in bed all day and don't do a thing their, their bodies won't use fuel. But this is not true because even when you consciously don't do a thing your hair is still growing, your heart is still beating and your skin is still being renewed and so on. And the amount of fuel this takes is the BMR. So what is the second term? The second term works in conjunction with the BMR and the second term is the TDEE -E, which is even longer because it stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. Now what is this? The TDEE -E is the BMR plus the stuff you really do. So while your hair is still growing and your skin is still being renewed and your heart is beating, you might decide to go grocery shopping or uh, clean the house or wash the car. So your skin being renewed, your, your heart beating and your hair growing and you washing the car and all this together, that's the TDE. E. So what do these big words mean for you if you want to lose weight? It's actually quite simple. If you eat exactly your TDEE per day, or a little more or a little less the next day, but it evens out over seven days, your weight will stay exactly the same. If you eat more than your TDE, you will gain weight and if you eat less than your TDE, you will lose weight. How much you gain or lose uh, depends on how big the deficit or surplus is. For example, if you eat your TDE per day and then you decide, hey, they are so tasty, I'll add a Big Mac per day for the next 7 days you effectively add 500 calories plus to your TDEE and over a week this will be 3500 calories and you will have gained a pound of body weight because one pound of fat is about 3500 calories. Of course it's also true the other way around. If you take your TDEE and eat 500 calories less than it, you will lose one pound of weight per week. At this point you might think, hey, I got it now. Um, this year is what I'll eat for the next four weeks and next month I'll have a super slim, uh, super cool body. No, it doesn't quite work that way. Remember what we said about the BMR, the basal metabolic rate, being the amount of fuel your body needs just to function properly. If you eat less than your BMR, you effectively limit your body's ability to do just that, function properly. So to put all this into a simple formula, eat less than your TDEE and you lose weight and eat more than your BMR to lose it healthily.
A very simple way of finding out if you are losing weight healthily is by looking at how much weight you're actually losing per week. If it is more than two pounds, then it's very likely yet that you are losing weight at a too fast rate and that your body isn't getting all the nutrients it needs to lose weight healthily. All right. This was the first part of this series of videos and in the next one we are going to look at how you practically apply BMR and TDEE. Good night and bye bye.